Good morning guys, welcome back to the Arctic Vet YouTube channel. My name is Trevor and today I have something in store for our 5th gen Ford Explorers. Those are 2011 to 2019, so this too will work with yours. Potentially if you have a push bar is where we're going to install ours. There are other locations and what will that be? Well, let's roll that intro and we'll step right into it. So my friends over at Auto Savers 88, they sent a light bar, an LED light bar that we're going to use right here on our push bar. Now, somewhere else that you could be installing this is right inside of here. Like I've seen them on the um, kind of where, where I have my mounts here. And some of the things that we're gonna need, some wire strippers and some uh, wire connectors some butt connectors there those are heat shrink ones so we can make sure they're weatherproof i already have wiring ran so i ran my wiring up and through here all the way it comes all the way up and then comes out to the battery and then i have my switch are currently right there that's where my switches are at right now anyhow let's show you guys this light bar I'll go ahead and pull it out of the box nice and wrapped and it's got the hardware in here so it comes with all the hardware that you need and even the allen key that you will use there it is auto savers 88 has little installation instructions I'll tell you guys what to how to do it which i will be covering that with you there will be a link in the description below there's a card to get some customer support, some help from them. We have we have used quite a few things from this company and they're amazing. We, we love each and every item. So this is just another one that we get to add to our list. It's so cool. I'm gonna go ahead and cut these very carefully because the light bar is right there and you don't wanna cut it. And then we'll get that out and we will show you how we mount this up. All right, so as far as tools go, if you do not already have holes drilled, luckily we did, you're gonna need a drill and a drill bit to put that, put a hole wherever you will be mounting. That way you can mount up the bracket like we have done here. Some other tools, they send a hex key and Allen key with the light bar that fit the bolts. A crescent wrench or you could use the correct uh, size socket um, wrench also would work too this was just quick and easy to grab some wire strippers because you're gonna have to connect your wires and then we have some butt connectors here these are uh, weatherproof so we have a lighter on hand so that we can go ahead and heat shrink those down to the wires make sure they're nice and watertight weatherproof and then we don't have to worry about the wires coming loose going bad anything like that so for the first step i went ahead and i after it got after your holes are drilled you'll want to mount your bracket so i've got one here and i got this one over here as well but i want to show you guys this so it goes washer locking washer bolt and then underneath they have these really cool rubber mats that you put under there and then the mount i'm gonna go ahead and take this one apart real quick and show you all right so here you go you can see the bracket the rubber mat, mat uh yeah the little rubber rubber piece and then whoo, sorry about that then we have the bolt which has a locking washer a washer and then the nut goes on the other side of the mount itself so i'm gonna go ahead and put this back in there tighten it down and then we'll be ready to go ahead and mount the light bar to these now it, for your application it may be easier to go ahead and put the brackets on the light bar first and then put them on um then mount the brackets however doing this a few times in the past 
I found that if you can put the brackets on first, it's a whole lot easier. It saves you a little bit of time, a little bit of uh, struggling. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this back on and then we'll get to the step of putting the light bar on. All right, so now that we've got those all ready, it's time to go ahead and grab our light bar here. We're gonna pull this wire loose, which is nicely tucked in the back. And then we will mount the light bar. And since our wiring is right there, we're gonna go ahead, uh, you can put this either way. You can put it this way so that your wiring is on your passenger side or your driver side. We're gonna put it on the driver side because boom, that's where our wire comes out. Before we put this on, I wanna make sure that you guys can see these. We're gonna put them between the bracket and the light bar so they will go on the sides like this. And then the same thing as the other bolts, you have your bolt a locking washer and then a washer and this will go on the outside of the mount just like that and then we'll go ahead and we'll screw it in nice and tight so it'll kind of look let's see if this will sit it'll kind of look like that and now we'll put the light bar on there and screw it in and be good to go so i'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick and then show you guys when i got it done all right, so now you can see that thing looks good. That's mounted up there, it's nice and tight. The last thing to do is to connect our wiring. And I wanna show you guys how I ran this, just in case you're curious. This wire leads right back into here and I pushed it back through the side all the way up. And then if we come on this side, I know it's kinda of hard to see, but the wires lead right in through here. So what I did is I stuck a wire down and then I fished it out with my fingers in the front half and then I wired them around to the side all the way around the back and got them hooked up to the battery individually. So the wire is already ran. The switch is the one right there in the middle because I have the top light bar and then I have my flashing lights as well. So I have this light bar and then these two flashers right there and now we've got our third one back for the middle and i use that more as a fog light they work a lot better than these little stock stock uh, lights that ford gave us so let's go ahead we're going to cut a little more of this um this coating off these ones i believe are ready they just need to be spun back together nice and neat and then we'll take two of our butt connectors and add those so i'm going to go ahead first off cut these down get a little more wire exposed and then we'll put a butt connector on one side and do the others i'll show you guys that in just a second oh wow that thing is bright <laughs> dang i want to mention real quick that you should go ahead and test these connections test them like i've done here before um crimping them down and heat shrinking them i haven't heat shrunk them yet because i wanted i wanted to mention that uh to test these because sometimes you may find that there's something wrong with the wiring on the the wiring harness itself um i've had one not from this company, from a different company that did have trouble with the light bar itself. Uh, you know, it happens. It happens. Anyhow, double check that the connections work, that the light works. It's all good to go. Now we're going to come back in the car and turn that switch off. So we're going to turn that guy off. Now it's good. And we can finish this right here by taking that lighter and very carefully, because we don't want to get these wires hot, we don't want to get them uh, melting or anything, we just want to shrink this down. So you can use a lighter, you could use a heat gun, any kind of heat source that you have that's not going to be too much, and then you just simply light it, leave it by it, let it shrink, and then we'll move on to the next one. So as that gets hot, it'll shrink down to the wire, sealing it, making a nice, nice tight connection, waterproof and everything. These are the way to go. 
So I'm gonna finish this up. Then we're gonna get some electrical tape and we're gonna tape over this and then tuck our wires in so that there's no loop and they're nice and hidden, covered up and looking nice and clean. We'll check in right after that. Well, there we go. Man, does that thing look good. And it's super bright. That wire's nice and tucked in now. Let's go ahead and we're just gonna show you guys all of these lights. So we're gonna go ahead and turn that on, turn that on, and turn that on. All three. Don't worry, I won't leave them on long so they don't take, kill the car, but you can see the top light bar, the sweet flashing lights that came with the push bar. Oh my goodness, this is so bright. <laughs> wow. I can't wait to see what this looks like at night. If you guys enjoy this video, definitely smash that thumbs up. And if it helps you out on installing your light bar, Again, shout out to Autosaver88 for sending this beauty to us. And man, does it, it looks good. I, I can't wait to see it at night. Cannot wait. Let's go ahead and turn this off real quick. Whew. Trying to get my sunglasses on. There we have it. That is how you install a light bar, an LED light bar onto your fifth gen Ford Explorer that's 2011 and 2019 years. And man, does that look good. It's gonna function even better at night. It's gonna be a great fog light. And honestly, with the Ford, my brights, like, shoot, they're amazing. But, um, man, <laughs> wow. That's awesome. I'm excited. I'm super excited about this. My brights, um, I just recently did them, but I, I use my light bars a lot. So this is gonna be a huge, a huge benefit. Definitely help us out. Because we like to go to our back pasture back there, and at night we like to drive out just a little bit and shine the lights all the way across the field and see what kind of wildlife's out there. Because we have turkeys, we have deer, we got raccoons, we got it all coyotes we got everything way out there so anyhow if you guys enjoyed this video <laughs> oh the dogs in the background <laughs> let's go inside real quick i don't need these no more if you guys enjoyed that video smash that thumbs up don't forget to click the red subscribe button we will see you in another video have a great night and god bless <laughs> Don't ever give up, God is here with you Yeah, You are a child, nothing but love is true Just got it fix in you, keep your eyes on the prize That's life everlasting, only through Jesus Christ